Hi everybody, this is Geneva, and I have a um, new scrapbook to share with you. It is a medley of Graphic 45 papers. Um, it's something maybe more of a family album rather than an event album. So I'm going to um, share with you what I used to create it and walk you through it. The cover, I used, um, I mostly let the paper speak for themselves. I have some glossy accents here and there just to highlight the papers a little bit. I used a, um, a label frame from Tim Holtz. The little birdcage is is from Michaels from a random buy ages ago as is the bird. Um, I did put a little clear crystal for his eye. Inside the label holder I um, used a, a punch out of uh, one of the papers I used and um, just filled it with glossy accents and let it set up. The um, Swirls are just random bling that I have in my my stash. Uh, I buy the stuff on sale and then use bits and pieces as I need. This strip here is punched with um, the Martha Stewart deco fan. It is an around the page punch and. Um, it's turning out to be one of my favorites right now. Uh, I added some clear crystals and this is of course some uh, some more of that oh I lost the word. Anyway it's, it's more of that trim from my stash. I have yards and yards of it. Uh, the the paper is um, the Fashionista collection, and I'm not for sure what year Graphic 45 um, put that out, but it is no longer actively available. I imagine you can find some of it here and there. Uh, the corners are Tim Holtz metal corners, and it's on they're on both the front and back. The spine you. I don't think you can tell, but it has been embossed a little bit, lightly embossed. And the back I left simple. Uh, the metal corners you can see. Again, the deco fan and the trim piping. That's it. And I've sewn for years. Uh, I think you're going to like this album. Uh, You'll see I have nice, nice deep gutters. I've also discovered a new brand of um, cutting dye, uh, Cherry Lane, and or Cherry Lynn, and I really, really like them. Um, they cut clean, which this this was cut with one of hers, as was this, and this is the pocket watch, and this is the antique bicycle. And I believe they are both from her steampunk collection, but I'm not for sure that both of them are. Um, this says Memories, and it is just a metal word die. Again, from my, one of my random Michaels buys. The scalloped edge you see. Here, I used throughout the book and it is another Martha Stewart punch and I believe it's called double scallop I really I can't swear that's what it is but you can still find it I bought mine just a few months ago um, now throughout this book I use a technique that I learned from Anna's paper creations She's on uh, YouTube as um, Zanaru, 
and I don't remember if there's numbers, but if you search Anna's Papers Creations, if you haven't found her yet, you need to find her. She's an awesome, awesome designer. Um, inside the front pocket is simply a journaling or photo book and a large photo mat. The corners, and I use the punch throughout, is um, Deco from Crocodile. It's one of their corner chompers. And on the opposite side of Deco is the um, Ticket Punch, which I use a lot too. Really like it. Um, again, this is the pocket watch. I I really 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 like this die company. What I did is I cut them out with black, and I used my silver, um, Gilder's Paste, and I was turned on to Gilder's Paste by, um, Laura Dennison. She's right, this stuff is awesome, and I probably will never ever have to buy another pot of that color in my entire lifetime. Um... This page design is directly from Anna's Paper Creations. I I really, really love her stuff. She uh, just amazing. Um, first is a, is a tag. And um, let's see, I, I have a cut apart here. And this is created by adhering these. Uh, they're just squares. Uh, they could be any shape that uh, the paper accommodates and just layered up together and attached to a half inch strip and then attached to the bottom of this particular part of the page and it makes this nice nice little pocket. Um, now this, this opens up really cool so I'm going to zoom out as wide as I can. Well I guess that was it. Okay. Um, it opens this way and again, you'll see a cut apart. Um, magnets are what keep this all together. Okay, so it opens here. We open again here. And then um, I left this, just the papers. And once again here. And by the time you're done opening this thing up, you have got miles. And well, the front opened up. Looks looks like this. really, really well. And again, it's all magnets. Um, now, one thing I want to show you, and, and it, I use it throughout, and this is from Anna's Paper Creations, is um, when you make your uh, wing to, um, or your hinge, you score it the half inch, but just to have the half inch Wing, wing piece, but you again score at three eighths, and that gives you an eighth inch gutter here. So stuff lays nicely, and when you start adding um, papers to it, or photos, or whatnot, that it um, it doesn't bulk up because the space is already built in. I, I, whoever came up with that, and I'm going to credit Anne with it. I, I think she's just amazing. Um, that uh, what a great idea. Of course, there are large tags. Um, now the next set of pages is, um, you know, this would be maybe mom's things that center around mom. The next pages will center around dad, and they were done with, of course, proper gentlemen. 
only because I don't have the sports papers. Um, they're all gone. Maybe I'll get some more. Um, this is a simply a pocket page. Uh, I do bulk on one side and then try to um, thin it out on the other side because you just don't have infinite room. Um, so this has got three tags in it and I use my uh, mustache uh, tab die. Makes a cute little thing. And um, I use it just to cut out mustaches for stuff so I, I'll have two mustaches if I don't want to use it as a tab. Uh, cut apart here and here. Uh, this is all fussy cut uh, car from the collection. Uh, a couple of stamps stacked. A row of stamps. This is a, a bit of the piece of the paper. This is glued together to make a pocket. Um, fussy cut him out and glued him on the back. This is again the scallop punch. This side is a little more interactive. Uh, it opens this way. And you can see I used the deco punch for, um, for this pocket, which is simply the, a, a piece of um, their border punch outs. I used two of the cut aparts on the inside and some more of the punch outs and some little green stamps. And this pocket is simply made with the, um, the border and um, the black deco um, edge punch glued on behind it. It's not a, uh, a, bare, uh, a deep pocket. Um, this is a little corner pocket, as you can see. And I simply cut out the pocket watches, um, glued them together how I wanted, and then I used two layers of ultra-thick embossing enamel, Beauty, um, which is another Ranger product. And I used two because I wanted it to still be pliable. You use more and they start getting a little brittle. Um, and I made a tag to go in and I pulled coordinating papers from my stash. Um, I think this is about it for my proper gentleman papers. I made a, a ticket uh, probably sometime in the past because it was just in with my stash of papers uh, with the Tim Holtz uh, ticket strip. Okay. Whoops. Okay, now this has two tags, as you saw, and again, um, I used a little mustache uh, tab, uh, tab die, and it is a die. These are cut aparts from the paper, and this opens again this way. So you have lots and lots of real estate in this album. Lots and lots. And everything closes with magnets. Uh, I, li you know, I like the idea of using all the little bits and pieces to make little turns, little lever turns and things, but I'm just, I'm just dead scared that they're going to end up wearing out and pulling through the papers and, um, and then where are you? Everything's flopping open and, well, enough of that. Okay, here's the second mat. Now the next set of papers is for children, as you can guess, and I used the, um, <laughs> the Mother Goose paper set. Um, this is Crescent Moon and Stars, Tim Holtz Big Sty. Uh, 
we have a little little pocket here a fussy cut from the papers I used a couple of stamps to cover this little journaling book uh, the window I do not know the name of the company um, but they've made it so that um, everything the window would open up if you wanted it to um, I've glued it down um, I use a um, pieces of the chipboard that I have left and these are some of the stars from the from the Tim's big sty and this simply just opens up and then this opens this way created, um, let me try to zoom in here and show you what I did here. Okay, I um, stamped on my paper and then I used my scoreboard and scored it like it was beadboard. Um, I thought it came out really cool, so it's like a you know, board with some wainscoting and then which creates the pocket. from the tag, the uh, chipboard tags. These, this is two separate pieces cut from the um, cover of an 8x8 pad. Uh, two tags made with the papers. journaling book and since I didn't want to use the scallop on this I used definitely wanted to use it on the tags and again magnet closure both places uh, this is an accordion fold out uh, little border uh, cutouts from the paper, top and bottom, and this is a, uh, of course, another chipboard tag. Some gingham ribbon that I got at Michael's on um, their after Christmas clearance. Now this folds out quite a ways. There's, there's a lot of pages here. There's room for two, four, six, nine photos. And there's the other large photo mat. Now our next page is you tell. It's uh, one of my favorite, favorite papers. Uh, bird song. And she is a uh, fuzzy cut on the cover of the 8x8. She is not glued down all the way, so you could certainly tuck something in here, put a photo behind. Uh, the dragon's coming out of red smoke, and I used uh, Ranger's fine red glitter. Uh, magnet closure. Opens to this page, which again... Um, it's not glued down all the way, so you can um, tuck a photo on. This is um, a stamp from the set, and I used, again, the Ranger, um, this one's called Princess Gold Embossing Powder. Our girl here is not glued down 
to the back, so you can put behind here. Um, these are not glued down, so you can put something behind here if you want. Um, this is a sticker that I had left, and these are fussy cuts from, from the papers. And the fence is an impression obsession die um, at, that I really like. I use it a lot. Um, I I put both tags over here, but there's plenty of room here for sakes, a tag if you so desire. Um, I just like the look of her with the as long as I'm not putting anything in there myself. I like that look. Um, Alright. Um, this is adhered with magnets. It's not the closure, but it, it is. Um, it was a way to set it down without gluing it down. Because it's a little um, a little journaling book that I've got I've kept closed with a belly band and inside is is just blank. Here's your magnet. Again, the um, scalloped edge here. Let's go out a little wider. So this flips up. This flips down. Already lots of room for photos. And see that eighth, that little eighth inch piece in there. That spacer. That just it makes all the difference on how these close. Um, pocket, which is where I tucked the tags that I again used the um, scallop on. And the deco. Now I deliberately made this so this last row of, of uh, Oh, the little cards that shows the girls. Um, they're cut apart, technically. So I wanted those to show. And there's the There they are. I forgot I was zoomed in. I'm sorry. But I wanted this last row to show. I did it deliberately. There's the other large mat, and there's the other side of it, which leads us to, and I'm sure you know, because you recognize the paper, Botanical Tea Party, or Botanical Tea. I'm sorry, it really doesn't have party on the end of it. <laughs> um, this is a double magnet closure. Um, these are the cut apart. Um, this is one of the border pieces um, from the papers. And these these are each mirror images so that the ta the tags are the same. They open twice. And the center here is a pocket page. Uh, use the um, stamps as a small pocket here. And then I made a larger pocket here with this bird. He's not glued down all the way. But I had to glue him down some, and the nest is glued down, but does not have, um, but not to the back. So the piece here come out. Uh, this is one of the cut aparts, and then the mats. And again, I used the the deco corner chomper from Crocodile. I 
think I have all of their crocodile corner punches, and the one that I don't really use much is the angle and the photo corner, if that's of any interest. Okay, then the next page is a simple page um, because it needed to be the thin side, and um, it is a slip pocket or hidden pocket. And I really, really recommend, and I don't know that um, I've heard more than one or two people say this, is that um, before you cut your pocket, after you've got it marked where you're going to cut it, you reinforce the back side with tape. And um, I, I just use clear um, scotch tape because that's what I had. Um, and always punch a hole at the end that also helps with the, um, the prevention of tearing. So we have a simple photo mat. It's made from the this, this second piece of this pattern paper, so when I um, tuck it in here, it is not visually jarring. It, it looks like it all belongs there. Pretty cool. And here is the second large photo mat. And the last pages are Christmas. And I don't know if you recognize this sheet as being from Christmas Emporium or not. I don't know that it was wildly popular to use. The Christmas is our last, last section. And um, I did make this five pages instead of six like I normally do. Um, because I honestly didn't have any more papers to uh, put in here. So, um, this is a pocket and these things in here hold this flap down but this pocket also opens up. It flips this way. So here's the two photo mats I made. And then this flips open and this flips up. And lots and lots of lots of room. And this is this side is a waterfall with um, a journaling mat here. Now, here is one of the reasons I love Graphic 45. I was running out of paper. And I went to um, another collection and I found some that worked, which is this. This is not part of the um, Christmas Emporium. It's from another collection and I don't remember which one. But I used one of the 6 by 4 by 6s I think, to do the... Um, the top sheet, which is really cute. And then the same papers alternate on the front, and the back is exactly the same all the way to the last one, which is another one of the cut-aparts, which is one of the um, postcards, which I love. I, I really like all their papers. There's not a thing about them I don't like. Well, that is that. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again soon with something else.